Alright, welcome back to another video on our WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. I'm Coast from the Bad Wrestling Channel. We enter episode 109 of our ongoing series with Shawn Michaels, our general manager, making his way to the ring as the go home show to our fast lane pay per view. And it seems as though our general manager has something to say to the WWE Universe. What does he have to say here tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown. On tonight's go-home show for Fastlane, you're going to be witnessing a match pitting Gallows and Anderson versus Aleister Black and an opponent of his choosing and what is sure to be a barn burner of a match. However, right now, I want to focus on something else. Over on Monday Night Raw, there has been a major feud happening between the Wyatt family and the Undisputed Era revolving around the World Tag Team titles. Now, I don't have a problem with that match. I feel confident enough that the Wyatt family will win that match and go on to continue their dominating reign as Tag Team Champions here on SmackDown. However, what I do have a problem with is that Bobby Roode and Elias have been clamoring to not only get a match between each other, but also get a match for the Intercontinental Championship. So, what I've decided to do is grant them both an opportunity at the title. At the Fastlane pay-per-view, we will see a match between Bobby Roode, Elias, and Bray Wyatt for the title. But, over the past few months of Bray Wyatt holding the Intercontinental Championship, I've seen a lot of worthy competitors pine for a shot at the title. So, to help bring in more chaos, we are going to see a match right now. An eight-man over-the-top-rope battle royal. The winner of that match gets added in to the Intercontinental Championship match at Fastlane. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it appears as though we have a lot of things confirmed and a lot of things happening already in the opening moments of this episode. First off, it's going to be an eight-man over-the-top-rope battle royal. And the winner of this matchup gets added to, I guess, what would be a Fatal 4-Way for the Intercontinental Championship. So, John Cena, the first man in this matchup, could perhaps be added into a match against Bobby Roode, Elias, and Bray Wyatt. Three men who he is definitely not fans of and is definitely no stranger to when it comes to fighting inside the squared circle. Of course, John Cena and Bray Wyatt have had a feud ages and ages ago, back at WrestleMania, eight, years and years ago. And of course, John Cena has also had a feud with Bobby Roode and Elias a few months back. As Samoa Joe, the second man entering this battle royal, makes his way to the ring. He, a few weeks ago, defeated... Well, sorry, not a few weeks ago. Last week, defeated our World Heavyweight Champion, the man who's going to be fighting Aleister Black... At this, or, uh, at this weekend's uh, pay-per-view, Fastlane, it'll be Aleister Black versus Finn Balor. As Samoa Joe makes his way to the ring. Speaking of that match between Aleister Black and Finn Balor, Aleister Black set to take on, well, I'm not entirely, well, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson with a partner of his choosing. Now, there's a lot of dominating people on the SmackDown roster that, Aleister Black could team up with. We got people like Brock Lesnar, Samoa Joe, John Cena, Braun Strowman even, a ton of these other individuals, Daniel Bryan, to, just to name a few people. I don't know, maybe he could choose Bray Wyatt. We can have a weird, dark team happening. Of course, Bray Wyatt, Aleister Black, very dark and eerie individuals. What a team that could be. However, Braun Strowman making his way to the ring right now. Set to add himself into this eight-man over-the-top-row battle royal. I don't know how anybody could eliminate Braun Strowman. He is a monster in that ring. He is a giant. But we're going to see exactly how he gets eliminated, if he gets eliminated at all. Quite frankly, if I was going to put money down, I would have my money set on that man winning this matchup. Braun Strowman, absolutely dominating competitor. Of course, he's also had his troubles with... Uh, Elias and Bobby Roode. He's also had a lot of troubles with them. So perhaps Braun Strowman could win here tonight. Or perhaps this man won, or maybe both men. I'm not entirely sure who is coming out here, and it seems as though it is Cesaro. 
Perhaps his teammate Sheamus will enter this match. I'm not entirely sure who. However, either way, Cesaro, a pretty interesting pick to make his way to the ring. He's gotten a, a victory over our Intercontinental Champion Bray Wyatt. He has pinned him after all. So perhaps Cesaro could go on to fight for the title. He does lay claim to an opportunity at the championship. One half of the bar making his way to the ring. Speaking of uh, Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family, as you just heard from Shawn Michaels, I guess it's been confirmed the World Tag Team title match is going to be happening. And quite frankly, I cannot wait. It's going to be uh, the Undisputed Era. The two of the four individuals on that team set to take on two of the four members of the Wyatt family for the Tag Team Championships at Fastlane. That's going to be very interesting indeed as Rusev makes his way to the ring. Former World Heavyweight Champion. Losing, well he won the title back at WrestleMania after winning the Royal Rumble in a shock victory. In my opinion, it was, hit, it was down to him and Killian Dane. Two people I did not expect to win the matchup. And I don't think anybody else did either. Rusev and Killian Dane, however, they went to war trying to fight and see who would go over the top rope first. The man who did, Killian Dane. So Rusev, now in the ring, perhaps looking to rise back into prominence. And so is this man, Daniel Bryan, making his way to the ring. He has defeated uh, 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 Bobby Roode in recent weeks. So Daniel Bryan, he's saying, hey, me, you know, I've beaten Bobby Roode. I've had matches with Bray Wyatt. Perhaps I could get a shot. So all eight of these men, so far at least, well, seven, I, I, I can kind of see their points as to wanting to be in this Intercontinental Championship matchup. However, whoever wins this matchup will have to go on the fight three other individuals. As... Oh, okay. Someone I wasn't expecting. One half of the Bludger Brothers. Uh, this is the eighth man. Who's coming out here? It seems as though it's one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Or at least, of course, it's the Freebird Rule. But the two men that actually won the titles. As... Okay, well, sure. If you're Bray Wyatt, why wouldn't you want one of your Wyatt family members in this matchup? I can completely understand that. Sure. And it seems as though the dark, the, the lights are a little bit dark. And oh, okay, Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan now making his way to the ring. I, sure. One half. There you see the World Tag Team Championship belt wrapped around his waist. Perhaps I don't know. Maybe he's looking to either go it alone, fight for the Intercontinental Title. And perhaps win the title from Bray Wyatt. I can definitely see uh, a, a, a leadership shift if that was to happen. Or perhaps Bray Wyatt saying, you know what? If you win here tonight, you better help me in that Fatal 4-Way to keep my championship. I'm not entirely sure. And let's get into it. Here tonight, all eight men battling right now. Cesaro going after John Cena. Kalisto going after Rus uh, Rusev. Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe battling, and it seems as though Eric Rowan beating the hell out of uh, uh, Daniel Bryan. Who's going to be the first man eliminated? It looks like it might be John Cena if Cesaro has it his way. In this battle royal. Here tonight, battle royal is always an exciting venture. And what a way. If you could defeat seven other men, then perhaps you could defeat three others in a fatal four-way to win the Intercontinental title as Eric Rowan slams down Daniel Bryan. In my opinion, one of the more interesting aspects of this matchup as Rusev, oh, throws Kalisto out and it seems as though Kalisto wouldn't have the Lucha Dragons is not going to get a shot at the Intercontinental title. Rusev, there's he screaming towards the crowd saying, I, or crowd I should say, saying, I got the first elimination and perhaps he might just get the last as John Cena looking to get an elimination on Cesaro. Cesaro trying to eliminate him eliminating him. Trying to eliminate him earlier. And it seems as though he's been eliminated, if I can say the word right, by John Cena. They say Braun Strowman! Well, it looks like I'm glad I didn't bet any for anybody on this matchup. In a hypothetical sense, sure, I would have picked Braun Strowman. However, Braun Strowman has just left the red. Oh my god! 
I can't even get through someone's elimination announcing it, at least. Braun Strowman's been eliminated, and then the man who eliminated him, Samoa Joe, has just been eliminated by Rusev. As now, Daniel Bryan and Rusev battling now. John Cena looking at Eric Rowan here. Daniel Bryan, oh, goes for a kick. Missing. Oh, right to the back by Daniel Bryan to, to Rusev. As now Cena grabbing Rusev. Daniel Bryan going after Eric Rowan. Kicks him in the stomach. As Rowan, oh, with a big right hand. One of these four men will be joining uh, Rude, Elias, and Wyatt for the title. Look at this. Oh, Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan eliminates John Cena. Throws him out. He just eliminates John Cena like no one, like nothing's no one's business. Okay. Well then, Rusev, Eric Rowan, and Daniel Bryan now. The three men left in this matchup. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and a jab to the throats of Daniel Bryan. Rusev down. Eric Rowan perhaps looking to eliminate Daniel Bryan, the leader of the Yes Movement. So you see Rusev telling the two men to come on, let's go, let's fight. And it seems as though Daniel Bryan looking to fight. Punches Eric Rowan getting out of that elimination predicament. Is now Dan O'Brien challenging them. Is... Ro Rowan, that was the wrong thing to do. But okay, sure, why not? As now, oh, goes to pick him up and what the- Oh god, turns into like a suplex positioning. Whatever, anyways, Dan O'Brien punching the back of Rowan. Is now, oh, look at that seemingly double teaming on Eric Rowan. They, it seems as though Rusev and Dan O'Brien both know that if Eric Rowan wins this match, then, you know, the odds of the Wyatt family keeping the Intercontinental title go up from 25% to 50% in that Fatal 4-Way as Rusev gets out of an elimination predicament. Oh! Daniel Bryan taking down Eric Rowan here. Looking at him, kicks him in the stomach. As Rowan, however, pushes off Daniel. As Bryan looking to get another shot at the Intercontinental title. He did get a shot recently. Will he, or he got multiple shots recently. Will he get another one? It looks like that's not happening. Power slam to the outside. And now, oh my god. This, this is looking very much like Eric Rowan might just join that matchup. Eric Rowan. Someone who I think nobody on the SmackDown roster wants to win. Eric Rowan and Rusev are the last, or are the remaining two members of this matchup. It's now throws him down face first. Rusev and Eric Rowan, the two last men in this matchup. Is that, oh, the kick to the back of the skull. The Machka kick to the back of the skull connecting. Oh, God, no, no, he's been hitting power slams on everybody to eliminate his opponents. Will Eric Rowan do it again? Rusev holding on for dear life. Will he be able to do the power slam to the outside? And no, Rusev reverses it. As now... Grabbing him, throws him across the ropes, grabs him, however, goes for belly-to-belly, belly to belly, but reversed by Rowan. As Rowan picks up Rusev again, goes to- Oh! Wants to go for a sidewalk slam, perhaps to lift him over the top rope, and Ro and Rusev reverses it. Slamming down Rowan here! Rusev wants another Rusev day, and perhaps the day will come when he gets a shot at the IC title, but will he be able to defeat- or eliminate Eric Rowan, I should say, and he, and he does! Rowan gets eliminated. Rusev clotheslining him outside the ring. There you see the Machka kick. Oh my god, getting caught into the ropes there. I didn't see it from that angle. However, there you see Rusev eliminates Eric Rowan, the winner of this eight-man battle royal. But now he's got perhaps even a tougher task ahead of him. Bray Wyatt, Bobby Roode, Elias... And now Rusev, all fighting for the Intercontinental Championship in a fatal four-way match. You don't throw your opponent over the top rope. You have to pin him or submit him inside the ring. And perhaps Rusev will be able to do that. However, we move on to our main event. Gallows and Anderson versus Alistair Black and a mystery partner. As here we go, everybody. Alistair Black making his way to the ring. Who has he chosen to be his tag team partner we'll find out in just a few moments as black makes his way to the ring set to take on the two members of the balor club gallows and anderson well of course two of the three members the leader being of course finn balor as the name of the club will suggest well i don't know maybe they don't even call themselves the balor club maybe it's just the club 
I'm not entirely sure. They do wear Balor Club t-shirts, though, so I don't know. Anyways, Gals and Anderson, I can guarantee you, watching very closely at the monitor backstage, looking to see who Aleister Black will choose to be his tag team partner. Black making his way to the ring first. The crowd in anticipation here tonight. Aleister Black, the dark presence making his way to the ring former world heavyweight champion attacking Finn Balor a few weeks ago backstage desperately wants his world heavyweight title back from Finn Balor will he be able to get the title back this Sunday or this weekend I should say at the fast lane pay-per-view we'll know then however right now Alistair Black there you see Ready for war alongside a partner of his choosing. Who is he going to choose? Oh, it seems, seems as though he's grabbed a microphone. What, what, does he have, what does he have to say? Earlier tonight, it was announced that I was going to team up with a man of my choice. However, unlike that coward named Finn Balor, I don't need anyone. So tonight, I'm just going to beat both Gallows and Anderson by myself. Well, uh, oh, oh, okay. It looks like Alistair Black's not gonna get a partner? Um, sure, what, whatever you want, Black, you can, you, do you. I wouldn't ch choose that option, clearly. Although, then again, I'm not the m one fighting in that ring. Alistair Black choosing to fight alone against these two, Gallows and Anderson, who... Um, since returning, have definitely made a more impactful mark on WWE since, of course, before they left. And it looks like, Alistair Black, you're going to have to do something here tonight to show that you're better than both men. However, Alistair Black with an elbow and then a kick to the face and Gallows dropped to one knee here. He's still, he's still got a knee up. He hasn't been dropped down yet. Kicks him in the stomach. However, Alistair Black... There you see. Oh god, with the strikes. Gallo's still standing. And Alistair Black, he's, get, he's looking even more pissed off now. Kicks him over and over again. The stomach, but Gallo's, the big the big man's still up. And oh, misses the knee. Oh, that was the worst miss you could have hit. Oh my god. I want to say it was much of a super kick, but it was something close to a super kick. However, Alistair Black again with the knee. But Luke Gallo's still not falling straight to the ground. And he does there. He gets kicked there, and Alistair Black taking full advantage of the big man being down on the ground. Double kick to the stomach. Kicks him in the chest again. Goes for a kick reverse. Oh, and then a huge clothesline connecting. As now Gallows and Anderson seemingly... I assume Finn Balor is off training. He's not with them tonight. As now, oh, God. Right to the arm, right to the shoulder. Finn Balor, of course, not booked here tonight. So I assume Finn Balor is like, you know what? I'm just going to go home. You guys got this. You guys can handle this. I will be there with moral support. However, I need to go train for my World Heavyweight title match, which, again, completely understandable. As Black O here tonight, however, I guess his training is done in the ring. As Alistair Black gets picked up here by Carl Anderson. Anderson now going for it. Oh, and a German suplex. Oh, crunching on the neck. Lou Gallows watching on Carl Anderson. Oh, Gets a kick to the back of the knee, I guarantee you wherever... Oh, and a kick to the side of the head, I guarantee you wherever Finn Balor is. That he is watching this matchup as Gallows goes down. Looks like he might just end up defeating Carl Anderson here. Black Mass! Oh, reversed! Drops him down, oh, into the ropes. Getting caught up on that bottom rope there. The rope burns, I can already feel him. As now a spine buster there, picture perfect, connected. As Carl Anderson looking down at Luke G or at Alistair Black, Luke Gallows watching, and Anderson now punches him in the back, goes for it here tonight. The cutter connects, and the cutter connecting the cover one, two, and no. Alistair Black somehow kicking out there. You see Carl Anderson looking pissed off over Alistair Black. Oh, drops him down, and Black. It seems as though his offense has gotten a little bit slower here, trying to work over the arm after that cutter there. He might not be 100%. Well, obviously he isn't 100%. But now he's looking down at him here. Carl Anderson, however, punch to the face. 
Goes for another one. And Alistair Black reverses. The clothesline connects. And then another one. Grabs the or grabs the kick. I went to go for a kick. Grabs the leg and drops him down. And Alistair Black looking real good here tonight. Picks up Carl Anderson. And Anderson, however, gets the combination by oh by Alistair Black. If I was Alistair Black, what I would do is oh, Carl Anderson rolls to the outside. What I would do is have Alistair Black is have you know just focus on one man in this matchup. As now a kick to the side of the head connecting. By Alistair Black. It seems as though Black looking to finish him off. You're pointing down towards Carl Anderson. And now punches him in the stomach. And again goes for a kick and it connects there. And now right to the back there by Alistair. Again slowing down the pace it seems. Working over Carl Anderson. Goes to grab him. Kicks or punches him in the stomach. However reversed. And Anderson now bounces him off the ropes. Grabs him and oh! Connects there, tilt, uh, tilt a whirl, backbreaker as Anderson throws Gallows in, or throws him into the corner with Luke Gallows, makes the tag, bounces him off the ropes, and now oh oh connecting there. Okay, drops him there with the atomic drop, and then dropping him there again. With Luke Gallows' huge slam connecting there. Almost a double-handed choke slam. Two. Three. And Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson successfully defeat Alistair Black here. Again, it was a two-on-one situation. I completely understand how Alistair Black lost that. Especially since Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows were not holding back. Okay, both men hitting their respective finishing maneuvers. As now, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows of the Balor Club, I can guarantee you wherever Finn Balor is, he is definitely happy to see that his boys, the club, have won here tonight. Gallows and Anderson, your winners here on Friday Night SmackDown's main event of the evening. However, right now, that's going to be the end of this episode here on our W2K19 Universe. If you guys like to please let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything you want to comment. Subscribe if you haven't already, but if you have... Why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on the Bad Wrestling Channel? I'm, of course, Dominic. Have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Bye-bye. Yo.